Hello my fellow Darians and welcome back from Play, Ben 10 Protector of Earth. So in today's episode we are going to take down Seattle Space Needle. Let's go. Whoa, that thing is huge. It looks like whatever's been spreading all these plant pots around has taken root. And I'm supposed to fight that? Think of it as a revenge for every vegetable you've ever been forced to eat. It's payback time. Oh god, no. I recommend you go over to Cannonball because he's actually the one you're gonna need for uh, this boss fight. Remember back in San Francisco when I said that I'm not gonna use Cannonball a lot? Well, uh, you definitely wanna use him in this boss fight here. He's just. I think he's actually required to beat the boss. And I failed. There we go. And now. You die. If you're good enough, you can actually beat him in one hit. And there we go. He's down. So it's time for full screen. I think. Uh, can I get the Sumo Slammer card? Thank you. Yes, sweet. Another cri uh, Omnitrix crystal. Oh yeah, I'm a mean green butt kicking machine. Of course, that plant monster must have uh, must have been charged up by wild wines. DNA. This can't all be a con uh, confidence. Unfortunately, the evidence all points to one individual. Why? Why am I surrounded by Yuda incompetence? I have given up the valuable crystals I stole from the Iron Tracks so that the uh, so that the Ten Tennyson boy will be destroyed and the miserable peons that I so generously entrusted with those crystals are unable to do anything but fail me. You, however, have done well. Simply return to me the final item I need to complete my plans and you have both the Omnitrix and the boy to do with what you will. Yes! Uh, so let me go ahead and buy some stuff. There we go. So, next time on Ben 10 Protect of Earth, we're gonna take down Ifiki Mounds or something like that. <laughs> anyway, guys, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.